2019, what a year. Belle Delphine, impeachment, Belle Delphine's impeachment, it's been a wild roller coaster ride. Especially for my channel. I began 2019 just barely cracking 200 subscribers. As I record this, I sit comfortably above 700. As I look back on my channel during 2019, not really, I'm really suffering from post-Christmas depression and I'm just not motivated enough to cook. So I decided to rank all my 2019 episodes in an iDub style tier list. Oh, and uh, before we begin, make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. Please subscribe. YouTube has been doing an inactive users purge and it's really affecting me. Let's start in chronological order. The first episode of 2019, Ranch Dressing. You know, looking back at this episode, it, it wasn't super strong, but I didn't hate it. It was just your standard ranch dressing. It wouldn't be too bad if we weren't in for a really big heartbreaker of a Super Bowl. In fact, I think I'm just going to let you know right now, I'm not going to be tuning into the Super Bowl this year. Or ever. Anyway, back on topic. Uh, ranch dressing. Eh. I'll put it right here in C rank. The tater tots and hash brown episode. I mean, McDonald's hash browns and tater tots are pretty much the same thing, just one's bigger than the other. And unfortunately, a lot of people on YouTube beat me to this, but I still like the video, so I'll put it here in the B. Ah, uh, Taum, the Lebanese garlic sauce slash my first kitchen corrections video. As Fidel Guevara told me, this is just wrong, lol. They probably had taum prepared differently, but basically I was trying to imitate Zangu's garlic taum, which Andrew was also trying to create, which he was basing based on that one episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm. And trust me, I eat there a lot more often than you think. Their taum is nice and spreadable, and it's not all globby and dollopy like sour cream. And in order to make it nice and spreadable, you gotta make a nice cornstarch thickener base. I made a batch for it with I made a batch for it for Thanksgiving. Turkey tastes a lot better with it than cranberry sauce. I'm gonna put it up here in the A tier. Garlic knots. I like the video, I like the recipe. Unfortunately, YouTube is flooded with them, both recipe and mukbang versions. In fact, I ranted against this very thing in the end of the episode. Now then, to eat this entire tray of garlic knots in real time. Because apparently that's what you people and YouTube definitely wants to see. You know, YouTube may hate you, but I love you. I'm gonna put you right here in the B. Yellow gummies. Yeah, I was really scraping the bottom of the barrel for this one. I was pretty much retreading my glowing gummies video. I even brought it up in the cold open. A little behind the scenes though. I was gonna show you how to make the sour gummies. Unfortunately, the recipe was a disaster, so I just decided to just cut it out. What makes it even sadder is that we lost Grant Thompson this past year. Jello gummies are going straight in the F tier. But you go, Thompson, you go straight into the S tier. Nate and whatever her name is, don't even shine a candle to the awesome if that was you. Rest in peace, my dude. Ah, no thermometer prime rib. You know, when I tested out this recipe, the prime rib came out nice and medium rare. But come time to film the episode, it just wasn't as pink. And I swear, I used the same oven. Eh, you know what? Use a thermometer. I'm going to put this right here in the E tier. Bernay sauce. I liked it. That's all I have to say. Put it right here in the B. Pressure cooker beef stew. I love this recipe. I love working with a pressure cooker. Heck, I even like impersonating Vsauce. So the thing is, hey, Vsauce, Michael Avenatti is going to prison. I'm gonna put it here in the A tier. Boxed mac and cheese hacks. Sure, by a number standpoint, it was super successful, but a good chunk of people actually disagreed with it, saying I used too much bacon or whatever. But you know what? I think these are solid hacks. Sure, some of them can get a little overly complicated, but that's okay. You know what? Screw the haters. This is going right here in the B. Red Velvet Angel Food Cake. I love the video. I love the recipe. It's the perfect Mother's Day food. You know what? I'll put it in the S tier. I need to combine desserts more often. Ah, compound butter steak. 
Some say you're supposed to put the butter on after the steak is done cooking. I tried it, didn't work. I love the recipe. Go right here in the eight tier. Tomato alphabet soup. I made this video as a semi response to healthy junk food version. I made the tomato soup base from scratch while they didn't. However, I used store bought alphabet pasta while they made theirs from scratch. It's nice and hearty, but I'm not going to be making it a lot, so. Another B ranking. Ah, salted caramel creme brulee. As I said in the video, there are a ton of videos on creme brulee on YouTube. Now, there are a few salted caramel creme brulees, but they were so unwatchable. I'm not even going to include clips of them. But you know what? Another A rank. DIY Frozen Waffle. I had fun spoofing Infowars. Oh, BTW, did you catch the dick joke at the end? Don't forget to head to the news brawl shop and pick up a box of male solidarity vanilla protein chick. But the recipe is just, meh. So yeah, the recipe's just, meh. Put it right here in the D. Oh, hey, another dick joke. Heh heh heh. Beer battered avocados. It's definitely interesting. That's all I have to say, so... Uh, here in the B rank. But I think my recipe could seriously use some tweaks. It came out a bit on the thin side. I wanted it nice and luscious, like the kind you get at El Pollo Loco. People like it, but I think I could do better. So I'm going to place it right here in the C category. Salmon pokey salad. I love salmon poke, but and I think I added too much red onion to this. I really want to rank it higher, but I just feel like both the recipe and the video is just not my strongest. So I'll put it right here in the D. Uh, here's something we can all agree with. Lemon pepper wet wings. I think what makes the recipe great is that unlike Andrew Ray or other YouTube chefs, I actually ate at the JR Crickets in Atlanta. And even though there are some differences between my version and JR Crickets, for example, the sauce being a little bit more thicker, I think I got the spice level and the tangy zest of the lemon pepper right. While it's not 100% accurate, it's a damn good recipe. People like it. This is going in the S. M&M &M cookies. I think what I like about it is that I tell people to not let the cookies cool on the pan, but on a cooling rack. You know, I was going to rate this an eight tier, but you know what? Now that I think about it, sure, the video's not S tier, but the recipe is. Ah, yakiniku. For the uncultured swines out there, yakiniku is just basically a Japanese grill. Now you can go to an Asian supermarket or Amazon and pay about, eh. 35 to 50 dollars or you can make mine for 12 bucks and you know what it gets the job done some of you might accuse me of cultural appropriation but the thing is japan and america borrow from each other all the time in fact here's the japanese take on american culture <laughs> with the rant out of the way and use incredibly weirded out let me put this here in the A tier. You know, 2019 wasn't also a crazy year for me, but also for YouTube's, well, second biggest creator, PewDiePie. I mean, sure, there's that one bad thing that happened in March that caused him to end the subscribe to PewDiePie meme, but there was also a lot of great high points too. He reached 100 million subscribers, he got married to Marcia, and he hit it out of the park with his Minecraft series. And to celebrate, I decided to make chocolate bars that resemble his famous pink and black wavy line pattern. But you know what? Those wilting candy mills are a pain to deal with. You see, wilting candy mills are, have a reputation for being too darn thick. I just thinned it out with some shortening, making the resulting chocolate easier to melt when you touch it. I think I'll put it right here in the C. It's, it's wonderful, it's, but looking back, it probably wasn't that great. Pesto cream penne. I love the video. I love the recipe. 
I wish you guys would view it a lot more often. Is it authentic Italian? Probably not, but it's damn good. I'm gonna put it right here in the S rank. Vinegar based coleslaw. It tasted fine. I guess I could have chopped the cabbage a bit thinner. Also, I have to point out that um, the next day after making this, the red cabbage turned everything purple and red. So there's that you need to watch out for. I'm gonna put this here in the E rank. Blueberry Mojito Popsicles. For those of you who didn't watch this, and boy, there was a lot of you who didn't watch this. Basically, I criticized So Yummy's Blueberry Mojito Otter Pops. Specifically, the dumbass makeshift tube from melting a zip top bag. The bombs were so weak and flimsy, I'm willing to bet they did a gazillion takes before they got it right. I love the video, but the recipe was just kind of meh. So, put it right here in the D rank. Creamy, creamless tomato soup. I love the recipe. The video is okay. And as I look at this, I'm kind of deciding whether I should put it at a B or C tier. B tier. I want some healthy food to be at the top. S'mores tart. Mainly because when I get monetization, I'll be able to stick a whole bunch of mid-rolled ads in it. And while forming the crust was a tad difficult, I think I'm gonna put this right here in the A tier. I'm pretty much tooting my own horn here, but I really do feel like this is a really great homemade pasta video because deviate from the norm. You know, I mix the pasta dough in a bowl to minimize the mess. And Papadella is the perfect pasta to make. I'm gonna put it right here in the C tier. Parmesan Papadella pasta. I loved this pasta, but it can be too rich for some palates. In hindsight, I might have added too much cheese. Eh, this is also going in the C tier. Cranberry jam. You know, after I tasted it, I noticed that it was incredibly tart. In fact, it's too tart to be used as a normal jelly. So don't bother putting it with peanut butter. You know, if you have some artisanal cheeses, it goes well with that. And it's actually doing quite good as far as the views it's getting. But I think this is another C tier. Chocolate eggnog. I love the recipe, I love the video. It's one of my favorites. The stuff's better than regular eggnog. It's going right here in the A tier. And finally, Christmas ice cream sandwich. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of ice cream sandwiches, but I know a lot of people are. So I decided to make a Christmas version of that. And while it tasted great, I felt like the gingerbread cookies were a bit on the dry side. You know what, let's put it in the B tier. Because I may not be the biggest fan of ice cream sandwiches, but a lot of people are. You should definitely try it out next Christmas. And there we go, folks. That's my 2019 episode tier list. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, smash the like button. If you really like the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Yeah, I know this was basically a clip show. I'd like to see you try up being up an Adam Aldean with post-Christmas depression.